Uh, welcome back, of course. Thank you again, obviously, G, for that. And we'll be chatting more about sport this weekend. A lot to chat about, indeed. But before we get to it, in commemoration, of course, and in honour of the biggest Grand Slam in tennis, it's the Australian Open that concluded this weekend. This morning, we are going to show you how to get fit using nothing but a tennis ball. Yes, really random device, but it's so, so, so powerful. And all you've got to do in, uh, in, in, is incorporate the tennis ball into your workout, and you can flatten your belly, practice your squat form, and improve your coordination and flexibility. There's so, so much you can do. But make sure you join in with this creative hashtag, Monday Motivation Workout. And everybody at home, Zanzi, get off of the couch and you can join us too, all right? And I've got my beautiful ladies with me joining yeah, me for yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've got the Who <laughs> girls in the building. So guys, this is a really, really creative, Ooh. but yet effective workout, all right? So not only are we working out the body, but we're also working on our hand-eye coordination. So whether you can catch a ball or not, you're gonna find out in this session. I'm not sure about the ladies here or myself either, so we're going to find out. But everything that we're doing here is a full body stimulation, all right? So what we're gonna do is start off with one of my favorite exercises, it's the core. You know how much I love to work on that. So we're gonna get onto our bottoms for this one, everybody out there. And uh, what's important for this exercise is also to make sure we're engaging our upper body. The reason for that is because in tennis, we're using our arms, we're using our shoulders as well, and coordination is quite important. So what we would do is start in this crucifix position by having your hands directly in a T, and you can already see Mzanzi at home, I'm shaking just holding my legs up in this position, so I've stimulated the core. Right, I've got the ball in my right hand, I'm gonna now trans and, and, and move it across, so I'm lifting my left leg up, lifting my body up, bringing the ball around, and back to restart in that crucifix position, and now to the other side, so through my leg, and back out, and you're gonna feel a little bit of shaking, so start off nice and slow with this one, because you really wanna control the core, and you really wanna bring your shoulders into play as well. Obviously, if this is a little bit too hard for you, you can keep your feet on the ground, and then lift your leg up, and put it straight back on the ground, but everybody out here, especially doing. Zoe, <laughs> especially <laughs> Zoe and Jamie, of course, we don't need to do it on the ground, so we can lift our feet up, and that's gonna make it just that much harder. All right, guys, uh, exercise number one, how are we feeling? Ooh. You good? Yeah. We good? That burns the ground. <laughs> burns the ground the whole time. I love how you say we've been keeping it up. <laughs> so what we've done there is the core. We've worked the anterior section of the body. Now we're going to do the posterior section. So that's the back, everything behind the body. And how we do that is, again, by stimulation. So the first move is have your ball just between your feet, OK? We're going to go into the crab position, all right? So crab position means it's a reverse bridge. I'm squeezing my glutes to get my body up onto the ground, all right? Also, what you will notice is your tricep Biceps are now engaged. That's that little shoehorn muscle that you see on the side of your arm over here. That one's really, really important. And that's the one that we're gonna be engaging fully in this workout. So what you wanna do is grab your ball now. And here's where not only balance and control comes into play because I'm already doing the reverse bridge with one hand and one's in the air. So I'm needing to use my glutes and my hammies even more. But here comes the skill part, all right? Yumzan Zed, see if you can do this. You gotta throw your ball up in the air, catch it with this hand, and somehow switch so you can have your right hand down on the ground and then the ball suddenly appears Give in the left hand. Give us a demo. All right, so here's the demo, demo everybody, <laughs> for my next trick. <laughs> All right, so you're simply throwing the ball up in the air, switch over, okay, and so I catch it on the other side. side. All right, you want to try? Here we go, brilliant. How's it going there, Jamie? <laughs> oh, not bad, not bad. <laughs> of course, guys, you will drop the ball. It's really, really difficult, obviously, to pay attention to your core as well as trying to, whoop, there we go, as well as trying to catch the ball at the same time. But get your hand eye coordination. Well, let out. That's Jamie's yeah, ball over there. <laughs> get your hand eye coordination going, and it's really important. So what, ma what makes this easier is when you can have a really solid and engaged core. So if you're wobbling around all over the show, it's going to make it harder. If my core is engaged and I'm solid, boom, just like that. In Zanzi, you guys can try it home. And of course, in the meantime, what you are going to be doing is working out those triceps, working out the shoulders, as well as the entire area of the back. How are we feeling over there? You're making I it very easy. Very hard, easy. <laughs> Did you, you lose your ball, Zoe? Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, so you don't even need a ball for this next one. And this is obviously fun. You guys have done this before at home. So I will, if I have a ball, put it in front of me. If you don't have a ball, don't stress at all. What we're going to be doing here is, once again, starting off with just a bounce if you want to. Zoe, what you can do is just tap, lift your hand in the air. What we're doing is tapping the ball. This is just activating the glute, activating the core. You can switch over to the other side now, doing the same thing before. Jamie, how are you doing over there? <laughs> just running all over <laughs> the, the show. The ball's just running away from me. <laughs> all right, so now things are going to get a little bit harder, yeah, okay? Yeah, so back. We have, oh yes, we've got another ball in there. there. Ball. Thank you, ball boy. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're doing is the exact same thing again. Now this requires extra stimulation in the core because we're going to throw the ball up, forcing the concentration once again and traversing to the other side. You guys ready? Yeah. Into the left hand. Three, two, one, let's go. 
Did you get it? Did yes. you catch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and again, of course, you can try that one out. It looks like the ball goes over here, struggling. I am too, and I'm sure you will at home. But have some fun with this workout. It's creative. And although you feel like you're playing a game, you actually are working out. And believe it or not, I've picked up a little bit of sweat. I don't know about you yeah, guys. Me too. <laughs> What's the best thing you can do with this ball? What? Throw people. <laughs> <laughs> On. See you guys later. <laughs>